The rolling hills of the Ozarks set the perfect scene for testing new technology aimed at modernizing soldier protection during the 2018 Maneuver Support Sustainment Protection Integration Experiment, otherwise known as MISPIX, at Fort Leonard Wood in Missouri. Among the technology being tested during the event was the Deep Purple Automated Drone, an onboard chemical and biological detecting system called the Array Configurable of Remote Network Sensors, or ACORNS for short, developed by the U.S. Army's Research Development and Engineering Command Edgewood Chemical Biological Center. So our Deep Purple with the ACORNS can go out a distance and interrogate possible threats, possible chemical, biological, radiological threats, collect information at a distance uh, to keep the soldiers safely out of harm's way. The system works by using a light detection and ranging or LIDAR standoff detector called REVEAL to identify a plume of particles in the air that could be potentially harmful to soldiers. This triggers the integrated early warning system to autonomously launch the deep purple drone carrying the ACORNS detector. The drone flies to the plume and samples the air, remotely reporting the findings back in real time so decisions can be made. We actually are working on how to get information into commanders' hands to make, so they can make actionable decisions faster, timely and more effective decisions. The team took advantage of the opportunities to experiment with their systems during the MISPIX event and are very happy with their results. We're able to, to generate a smoke cloud. Reveal is able to find that smoke cloud and we can autonomously send a UAV um, into that cloud and then not only send it into the cloud to find where the highest concentration is, but it continues to track that cloud. So that's the piece that's really nice because then you can look at where is your entire contamination area. You can Beyond the field experimentation with the detection system, the real value of MISPICS is the ability to get the emergent technology in the hands of the soldiers. During the exercise's first week, soldiers from the 63rd Chemical Company, 2nd Chemical Battalion, 48th Chemical Brigade, spent time training in the operation of the system and providing feedback about how the system could be improved to provide the support they need in the field. We are really trying to fall in line with the Army's goal of more demonstrations, more prototypes, uh, get input from the soldiers sooner rather than later so we can get a better product into the material development. Initial feedback from the group of soldiers working with the development team showed some positive results. Uh, this is beneficial. It'll save us a lot of time. It'll keep troops out of the hazard uh, in the Seaburn world. That's kind of what we worry about. Uh, it could be a lot faster, a lot more accurate, and I can send it to places I may not be able to drive. The MISPICS exercise concluded the week with a demonstration of the technology to a group of distinguished visitors from varying organizations within the DOD. This demonstration gave the researchers a chance to showcase to senior leaders the work they have done and explain how their technology fits within the Army's current priorities. This is all about modernization, is about how do we start achieving uh, and overcoming and overmatching our near peer competitors. By us being able to get new equipment, new technologies, new capabilities to the warfighter today or as soon as we can allows us to get up over that hurdle. One of the steps in making sure the technology is ready to improve the capabilities of the soldier is making sure the program continues to move forward. My hope after um, MISPIX is that one, we get some solid transition agreements and that this equipment ends up being part of a program of record that's then developed. Uh, and also that we apply these solutions to uh, material gaps that other requirements that owners have. For the U.S. Army's Research Development and Engineering Command, Edgewood Chemical Biological Center, I'm Jack Bunja.